This is your girl Jewel coming back with another video. Uh, we're gonna talk about cleaning strawberries. So, these are the strawberries we're gonna clean. And we have our vinegars. I have one, two, three different type vinegars. We have a veggie wash that you might wanna use for cleaning your strawberries. And these strawberries came from Wegmans. When I say they are huge, really, really big. This is what I do my strawberries when I do my box. Big strawberries, absolutely gorgeous. So you have cleaning vinegar. You have apple cider vinegar for wellness. You have a veggie wash. You have a white distilled vinegar, and then you have a regular vinegar. You definitely do not want to use a cleaning vinegar on your strawberries, okay? This is pretty much for you to take for your wellness. I wouldn't use this. All the research that I've done is white vinegar. The veggie wash, oh, my water's spilling. Oops. The veggie wash, you can use this, but you have to swish and wash within 30 seconds. So I don't know if you want to use it. You have to be really fast. So we're going to use this vinegar and you will need three parts of water to one cup of vinegar. I really didn't spare that much. So I'm gonna put a little bit more back in here. Just a little bit, okay. So this is the vinegar you'll want to use. You can get it at any grocery store pretty much. But I cannot stress enough, don't pick up some cleaning vinegar to clean your vegetables with. And the strawberries, they um, have been sprayed with pesticide. They are nasty. This is one of the fruits that is really nasty because it sits so low uh, on the ground. But the farmers have to spread to keep the bugs from eating up the strawberries. So we're going to put the water in here. Our one cup of vinegar. And we're going to get the strawberries. Okay. And we're going to soak these for 20 minutes. And I'm going to put the time on 20 minutes. We'll come back and I'll show you how dirty what's left at once the strawberries are soaked. I'll show you how dirty are. So we're going to soak these for 20 minutes and we'll be right back. So I'm back again. It's been 20 minutes. So I'm going to take the strawberries out. We're going to put them in here. And I want to show you what the water looks like. Take all these right here out. And you will not have, um, after you rinse these, you can't taste vinegar. You won't be able to taste it at all. I'm going to rinse these off and just take them out of the water. These are not too dirty. They say they come pre-washed, but nothing comes pre-washed as far as I'm concerned. So, I'm going to show you this. Here's what the dirt looks like, if you can see that. See the dirt that's in the bottom of that pan? So... We clean the strawberries, so I'm going to bring them over here, rinse them off pretty well. Then I'm going to leave them out to dry. All right. Let me get my bowl in. All right. Take them back out. So I'll put them here for them to dry so I can process these tomorrow. So I can dip them in chocolate. They're really big and they are sweet and juicy. Wegmans uh, has the best strawberry. This is where I got these from Weg Wegmans in Wake Forest. They have one on uh, Falls of the News. Okay, so that being said, I'll let these dry and tomorrow I'll dip chocolate. Thank you for watching my video. Please share, like, subscribe, and do not forget to hit that notification button, the button right down at the bottom. Thank you.